Hello friends, this is Shukesh Bonik from India and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today I am going to make a full hardware review of the new Sony Xperia Miro and you must have already seen the unboxing and hands-on review. Now in this video I am going to do some benchmarks along with some other hardware tests so be with me friends. Now regarding the exterior design, I must say this is one of the best looking higher entry level or mid range device mainly because of the very good build quality and also very good feel in the hand. Now let's have a quick tour on the exterior hardware. Here is the 3.5 inch screen with 480 by 320 pixels at the rate of 165 ppi which is quite standard for a device like this. Here is the ear speaker and here is the front facing VGA camera and there is also a tiny notification LED light here on the top side of this phone and there is also a proximity sensor. Now here on the bottom you are getting the three capacity buttons, here is the menu, here is the home as well as multitasking and here is the back button and there is also another very vibrant and powerful notification LED light here and its color actually depends on the color of the theme and I'll shortly upload a separate video showing you the unique illumination alert system on this phone. Now here you are getting a nice metallic finish along with the bold Xperia logo which looks quite nice. Here on the left hand side you are getting the charging as well as the data syncing port and here is the volume rocker which is on the top right corner and also it is kinda thin so sometimes it feels quite difficult to access when you are holding this phone just like this way. Now here on the back side you are getting a rubberized coating on the back cover which feels quite premium and also gives a good grip of the phone. And the overall dimension of the phone is also quite good. Here is the speaker grill, here is the nice Xperia logo. Now here on the top you are getting a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with VGA recording and you are also getting a very powerful LED flash over here and I will upload the camera samples in my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal. Now here you are getting the 3.5mm headset jack and here is the power as well as the lock unlock key. Now here you are getting the tiny microphone hole, here is the small groove for removing the back cover and here is the hole for attaching linear or charm. Now let's unlock the device and show you the display quality. Now as I mentioned before in the unboxing video, the color reproduction of the display is quite good for the price of the device. It is not comparable to any other entry level phones like the Xperia Tipo which has got more PPI but the viewing angles and the color reproduction, the vividness of the pixels are quite good on the Xperia Miro. Though I will not say the HVG resolution on the phone is excellent. You can easily notice the pixels on the phone if you look from a shorter distance but it should not bother you that much. But looking at this very vibrant display it feels quite good actually for a lower mid-range device I am satisfied with the display quality now let me show you the viewing angles as you can see there is no decolorization like other entry-level mobile phones though there is a slight decrease in the brightness which is quite natural as you can see I have installed flash player on this device without any issue and it also does have an e-compass which also works quite nice now let's check the call quality on this device. My personal experience is decent. I haven't found any kind of spike or crack in the voice. The speaker is also quite decent. Though it is not very loud because the X loud thing actually doesn't work here. Now let me show you the proximity sensor and as you can see it works quite fine. Now regarding the auto brightness control, this phone doesn't have any ambient light sensor and you are getting a brightness control tool here and you have to use it or you can go to the settings and use the precise brightness control though I suggest you to install any brightness control widget and put that on the home. Now let's check the loudspeaker quality and as you know it has got xloud technology which actually increases the volume by 30%. As you can hear it is quite loud and the clarity also seems quite good though you can turn off this loud to get better quality. Now let me show you internal storage and RAM and first of all the Android version is 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. Now here is the internal storage information and you are getting this nice 754 MB of space for your applications and you are getting 2.01 GB in the internal storage and I suggest you to watch the unboxing video where I have shown you the exact user available storage you are getting out of the box. Now as you can see you have got the option of moving your installed applications to the internal storage which is of 2.01 GB as you have seen already. 
Now here is the RAM information and as you can see you are getting 156 MB free and 245 MB is being used so total of around 400 or 401 MB which is quite decent. Now it's time to run some benchmarks on this new Sony Xperia Miro and first of all I wanna show you the system information. Here as you know it has got 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich on board and the model name is ST23 I or ST23A and the CPU is ARM version 7 and the frequency is 800 MHz it is single core and the memory is around 400 MB. Now the display is 320 by 480 as you know and the refresh rate is 60 per second and the GPU is Qualcomm Adreno 200 with OpenGL ES 2.0 version. Now let me show you the sensors and as you can see it has got 3 axis magnetic field sensor, orientation sensor, 3 axis accelerometer and also a proximity sensor. Now let's run the benchmark and show you the results. Here you got the result and you are getting 1740 which is moderate but not bad for a device like this. Now let's run Nina Mark 2. As you can see friends you are getting only 15.6 fps which is not very good. Now let's run onto the benchmark. You are getting total of 2825 on the Antutu benchmark which is basically a mediocre result. So overall the benchmark results on this phone is not very very good as because it is a purely entertainment phone. It looks good, feels good, the build quality also seems quite nice and the camera on this device is quite quite nice actually. And the music quality on this phone is also one of the main positive feature on this phone because it has got Walkman music player which has got a lot of options and settings and the loudspeaker and the headset also produce quite decent quality sound and the display is also quite colorful though the PPI is not very good. So if you are looking for a very high performance gaming device then this mobile phone may not be suitable for you. This is for those people who are looking for a very stylish entertainment android mobile phone. With all the basic features like a front facing camera and you are also getting a very unique illumination bar here on this Xperia Miro. I will make a full in depth review of this mobile phone and don't forget to subscribe to gadgets portal to get updated and you can also visit my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples and you can like this video comment here and also share this video with your friends so that's all for now see you in the next video bye bye